Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how to get started with natural language processing, NLP, with the text blob package. This is what we're going to cover. First, we'll go over how to install the package. And for this example, we use the Anaconda Navigator package environment. Or visit the Python package index for other install instructions. We will go over how to create a text blob, create a list of words from the text blob, load text from a text file, and then create a text blob. Then we will go over how to count words, sentences, and phrases in your text blobs. Next, we'll go over how to detect and translate languages, do a spell check, and fix the spelling. And finally, we'll go over some sentiment analysis examples. And to see what else the text blob package can do, you can visit the documentation or visit the Python package index. To install the package, we used the Anaconda Navigator. Then we went to Environments, Create, we searched for the package, and installed it. And you can see that the text blob package is installed here. If you would like to install other packages in the same environment, you can search for the package here and install it, or you could open Terminal and do a pip install. For the imports, we use from text blob, import text blob. We're also going to import natural language toolkit. Here. And you can see we have that installed in our text blob package environment. Here. And we have imported pathlib. From pathlib, import path. From time to time, you may need to download other natural language toolkit packages. One way to do that is using natural language toolkit.download and you put in the package. If you're using text blob and it needs a package, normally it will show you that in the error message. It will give you instructions and then you can download the packages as needed. First, let's go over how to create a text blob. Here we have our text in the form of a string. To create the blob, we use text blob and we put in the text. And you can see we get our text blob. After we create our text blob, then we're ready to use the text blob package to perform natural language processing tasks. To create a list of words from your text blob, you can use blob.words. And here we have a list of all the words in the blob. Here we have an example where we test to see if a word is in the blob. The word is hot in blob.words, which is true. If you would like to load in text from a text file, you can use path, put in the path, dot read text. We assign that to the variable text, then we use text blob and we put in the text. And here we have our text blob. Next, let's go over how we can use our text blobs to create counts of words, sentences, and phrases. So here we have created our text blob. If we would like to see the counts of the words in the text blob, we can use blob.wordcounts. And here we have the words, and to the right, we have the counts. If we want to access the sentences in the text blob, we can use blob.sentences. And here we have the separated sentences. To see the number of sentences, we can use blob.sentences with length. And we can see that there are three sentences in the text blob. Next, let's say we wanted to count the number of times that sunny day is in our text blob. To do that, we can use blob.nounphrases.count. And then we put in sunny day. We can see sunny day one, two, three times. And we run it, and we can see we get the correct count of three. Next, let's go over how to detect and translate languages. Here we have a greeting string. We create our text blob, and to detect the language, we can use the blob.detectLanguage. For this greeting, we can see that it is Italian. If you're not sure what the abbreviation is, you can use the PyCountry package to get the details. If you would like to translate a text blob, you can use the blob.translate. And we can see that this Italian greeting in English says, Hi, how are you? 
Now a quick note, these options appear to be deprecated, however they currently still work. Next, let's go over an example of how to do a spell check and correct the incorrect spelling. So here we have our string, we create our text blob, and notice that in the string there are many misspellings. To correct the spelling we use blob.correct. And you can see that the misspellings in this string are now corrected. And finally, let's go over an example of sentiment analysis. We'll do two different types of sentiment analysis, one including the naive Bayes analyzer. And for the naive Bayes, we use from textblob.sentiments import naive Bayes analyzer. We're also going to use the natural language toolkit and download the movie reviews. Here. For the first type of sentiment analysis, you'll notice that we'll get back scores for the polarity and the subjectivity. The polarity ranges from negative 1 to 1, where negative 1 is very negative sentiment, 1 is very positive sentiment, and 0 is neutral. The subjectivity ranges from 0 to 1, where 0 is very objective and 1 is very subjective. So here we have three comments on a movie. The movie was awful, the movie was the best, and the movie was just okay. We use text blob to create our text blob, and we put in the comment. For the first one, we'll put in comment 1. To get the sentiment, we use blob.sentiment. Let's run it, and we get a polarity of negative 1. This is the comment, the movie was awful. And if you look at our score, negative 1 is very negative sentiment. The subjectivity is 1, which is subjective. Let's test comment 2, the movie was the best. For the polarity, we get 1, which is very positive. For the subjectivity, we get 0.3. Let's go ahead and test the comment number 3, the movie was okay. For the polarity, we get 0.5, which is somewhere in the middle, which is what we would expect. For the subjectivity, we get 0.5. Again, somewhere in the middle. If you would like to test the polarity of several sentences, like in this example, where we have the movie was not bad, the visual effects were good, the acting was bad in some places, the plot was kind of interesting, we can use a for loop to test each of the sentences. We create our text blob. Then we use the for loop using blob.sentences. Then we use each sentence.sentiment.polarity. And here we have the polarity for each of the sentences. And finally, for this sentiment analysis example, we use the naive Bayes analyzer. We create the text blob. And for the analyzer, we assign naive Bayes analyzer that we imported here. And to see the sentiment, we use blob.sentiment. In this case, we're using comment 1. The movie was awful. And for the classification, we get negative. And here you can see the percent positive and the percent negative, and the comment is mostly negative. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.